Breaking news coming in. At least 40 people have been killed and many more wounded, according to reports, in what is one of the worst terror attacks that Russia has seen in years. Uh, the video shows uh, gunmen in combat fatigue uh, open fi uh, open fired and uh, detonated explosives in a big concert hall in Moscow. Uh, the, fo the photos and videos showed uh, uh, the city music hall engulfed in flames as well. Uh, videos are emerging from uh, the concert hall attack uh, and these are uh, absolutely horrific uh, videos. Uh, uh, some of those videos we cannot show you on, uh, uh, on uh, your TV screens. But uh, at least four gunmen uh, have been seen opening fire from automatic weapons uh, as panicked Russians fled for their lives. In one of the videos, uh, the three men in fatigues uh, carrying rifles have fired at point-blank range into bodies strewn about uh, the lobby of that concert hall. Uh, joining us uh, to give us more details is Vishal Vivek. Vishal, uh, what, uh, let's uh, first go across to Vishnu. Vishnu, what, uh, what more details can you give us? Well, Osama, what I can tell you, and this is information coming out of Reuters, and I think it's important that we read out that copy of theirs. So I'm attributing this entirely to Reuters in the absence of any independent verification at this stage. What Reuters is reporting is that as many as five gunmen dressed in camouflage clothing open fire with automatic weapons at people in the Crocus City Hall music venue near Moscow, leaving an unknown number of people dead. Now, some reports which uh, you also mentioned and I have seen indicate that as many as 40 people at least may have been dead, may have been killed and several others injured. It's not immediately known how many people have been injured, who the gunmen were. Russian news agencies, Reuters reports, saying that 50 ambulance crews had been sent to the scene. Um, flames leaped into the sky, plumes of black smoke rose above the venue. Uh, the Moscow mayor, Sergei uh, Sobyanin, has, is reported to have said, and I quote, a terrible tragedy occurred in the shopping center Croker City today. Um, the mayor said that all necessary assistance is being provided. Russian state news agencies say that police and other emergency services have arrived at the scene so very early days. But what I can also tell you now, and this is important, is that just a couple of days uh, back, uh, in fact, on the 8th uh, of, uh, of March earlier this year, uh, the United States had warned of an imminent attack in Moscow by extremists and had urged citizens to avoid crowds. Uh, the U.S. Uh, warned of a terrorist attack taking place in Moscow and that they were monitoring reports that extremists have imminent plans to target large gatherings in Moscow to include concerts and U.S. citizens uh, should be advised to uh, avoid large gatherings over the next 48 hours, should, however, say uh, that this particular uh, report is uh, the, from the 8th of March. It's, and I am attributing this and reading it directly out of NBC News uh, at this stage. Uh, all of this, of course, Osama, comes at a time when um, hostilities between Ukraine and Russia have now extended beyond two years. Very, very important to say that there is no evidence whatsoever that this attack is associated or linked with Ukraine at any stage, despite the fact that there have been alleged attacks by Ukrainian drones uh, and, uh, and weapon systems on Russian targets over the last several weeks, if not months. Uh, the reason I mention this is because these are particularly dangerous times, extremely volatile, a time when Russia's President Vladimir Putin recently re-elected to power has made rather dire warnings uh, to people uh, across the world. Uh, I'm not getting into those warnings other than to state that at this stage there is no, invo there is no information of involvement of the Ukrainians. There has been an alert a couple of weeks back from the Americans of a potential terror attack. But as you reported a little while back, what we are picking up of agencies is 40 people at least dead, many others injured in a mall in Russia, the footage that you've been showcasing on your screen describes a, a very unfortunate situation which seems to be unfolding. Absolutely right, uh, Vishnu. And uh, some, of those, uh, some of those visuals, uh, uh, like I earlier mentioned, uh, we cannot show them on uh, your TV screens uh, because of the because of the uh, kind of gore that uh, is there in those videos. Uh, but uh, uh, stay back with us. Uh, let's go across to Vishal Vivek, who's uh, joined us. Uh, Vishal, uh, as Vishnu was mentioning, uh, the U.S. Embassy had warned earlier of, uh, earlier this month uh, that uh, 
an, uh, an attack like this might happen. Uh, what more details can you give us? So as of now, no agency or terrorist group or any other militant group has claimed responsibility as of now. Uh, Russian state media has been reporting and other media have also reported that at least 40 people have been killed and over 100 have been injured. I've seen some footage. It's a ghastly scenario right now. Uh, there were uh, about, about at least five to six people in uh, camouflage dresses and they were firing indiscriminately on people, innocent people. Uh, I saw people uh, in the footage. I saw that people were, you know, tripping over each other, trying to escape the gunmen, but uh, the gunmen were relentlessly firing at them. Uh, there were different footages. One of the footages from inside the concert hall where at least two to 300 people I could see in the footage, they were, you know, uh, trying to hide and uh, escape the people who were, you know, barging in with guns. Uh, they were trying their best to escape the gunmen. Uh, few of them succumbed to in injuries right in front of, front of the gunmen. It's a it's a very uh, brutal scenario, and uh, uh, as, as far as the security agencies of the Russia are concerned, none of them have uh, commented as of now. It remains to be seen uh, what which group uh, has conducted this strike. Uh, it all there's also uh, an explosion that occurred. As the visuals, you can see that uh, at, uh, a couple of grenades were thrown. It could be because of that, or it could be a, a larger explosion. It all remains to be seen. Uh, the details are still emerging. Uh, so we'll have to wait for more details. Right. Uh, Vishnu, uh, you rightly pointed out that uh, this is uh, this is coming uh, right on the back of uh, uh, Vladimir Putin's uh, re-election as uh, the president. Uh, what consequences this might have, This uh, an attack like this might have uh, amid, uh, amid the whole uh, 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 tension that uh, the world is seeing right now? No, I think, Osama, that is the question on the top of everybody's mind. And I think it's, uh, it's important that we don't get ahead of ourselves because um, the potential consequences of an association with Ukraine, given the state of the war, the conflict, uh, would be potentially devastating. What I would like to do uh, is to just go back to what Reuters has been reporting. Uh, as I mentioned, um, as I report from you on the phone, I mean, I'm un not in a position to get first-hand information myself. I've tried. Uh, but what Reuters is reporting is the following, and I quote, in one unverified video posted on social media, uh, men with automatic weapons were shown firing repeatedly at streaming civilians, including women, who were cowering below what looked like an entrance sign to Crocus City Hall. Uh, the video that we've been showcasing on air uh, seems to uh, match what uh, these eyewitness accounts seem to suggest. Other video footage showed a number of people lying motionless in pools of blood outside the hall. Um, another video showed the attacker shooting at people in the concert hall. Now, very importantly, Osama, and what I mentioned earlier on, or and a few more details of that here, the U.S. Embassy in Russia warned earlier this month that extremists had imminent plans for an attack in Moscow. Uh, and the U.S. Embassy issued um, its warning several hours after Russian Federal Security Bureau, the FSB, which is the successor to the KGB, said that it had foiled an attack on a synagogue in Moscow by a, a cell of the militant Sunni Muslim group Islamic State. Uh, so that was an incident which was reported a couple of weeks back. Who is responsible for this, we don't know at this stage. But some reports, as you've been reporting, uh, claim that 40 people have lost their lives. Uh, any number of others have been uh, injured as well. A major terrorist attack on Moscow at this stage uh, at a time of, uh, of huge uh, uh, of tension between the country, of, of between Ukraine and Russia. Um, my colleague Uma Shankar Singh also suggesting uh, in forwarding in details that up to 6,200 people could have been in the Crocus concert hall um, at the time of the attack. There was a concert happening. All tickets were sold out. Um, the, the cinema itself can accommodate no more than 6,200 people. Um, the concert director of the picnic group reported that musicians were not injured. They were evacuated from the building. They were in the dressing room at the time of the attack. More than 50 ambulances have been deployed, brought into the area, helicopters at the attack site. Uh, the White House says that there is no indication at this time that Ukraine is involved in an attack on Moscow's right. concert hall. Uh, this is very important news. 
because that would be uh, obviously something that Russia would be looking at very, very closely to see whether there is any Ukrainian involvement. The White House saying quite clearly that no, there is no indication at this time that Ukraine is involved in the attack. Right. Um, special forces have now stormed. Russian special forces have now stormed. The special uh, have stormed the Crocus City Hall building uh, in Moscow. Gunfire guns constantly being heard. And information which has emerged is that the death toll in Crocus may be more than 40 people, more than 100 uh, injured. Uh, the first column of special forces have launched an assault and the cleanup operation has well and truly begun right. at this stage. So that's the information, Osama, that we have at the stage. The U.S. statement uh, immediately coming in, saying that Ukraine is not involved, is important. It is critical because the last thing the world needs is, to, um, uh, is an association between what has happened in Moscow and the situation in Ukraine now, uh, with the war having ended more than two years, and tensions between Russia and Ukraine very, very high indeed, at a time when Russian President right. Vladimir Putin has warned of the potential consequences of World War III if the existence right. of Russia itself is under threat. Absolutely. These are horrific scenes, uh, as you can see on your screens. Uh, 40 people, over 40 people, reportedly gunned down by gunmen who opened fire at, this people, at these people at uh, the Moscow City Hall.